Well, the ancient healing practices of long gone civilizations are still firmly rooted in the 21st century. Our face of Fox Michael Newman takes a look at the community's sacred house of energy where these healing arts continue to flourish today. This is your face of Fox Michael Newman, and today I'm at a nonprofit that is using ancient Native American techniques to help heal modern day issues. I'm here with Maestra La Hora, right? Right. Correct. Correct. And what is the name of the organization, and what do you guys do here? My organization is called Calpuli Teocaliolin. Community Sacred House of Energy. Uh, we're located in Valencia County, but also do work in the Albuquerque area. And we bring in ancient healing arts into a combination of clinical therapy for different modalities and different uh, symptoms and issues. Wow, and one of them being the Tamascal or the sweat lodge. One of them is the, the sweat lodge. The Tamascal is a Nahuatl name, an Aztec name mm -hmm. for uh, vapor house oh. or steam house. And it is the Mexica way of doing a sweat lodge. Wow. And how, what kind of um, integration happens with, you know, like with the modern, like you say, like these modern issues, whether it be a physical ailment or like you said, PTSD, how, you know, how do you guys integrate those, those different modalities? Well, one of the things that we do is because I'm also a clinical social worker and I do a lot of counseling with veterans. Mm -hmm. And so we use it for um, uh, lessening the symptoms in PTSD. Not only is it purification, but it also detoxes the mind, the spirit, and the body, and the heart yeah. when the symptoms can be pretty bad and severe. And that's so interesting because in a place like New Mexico, which has so much tradition of Native, of Native American you know, tradition and medicine, like the fact that we have access to that, do you think it's important to have in a, a place here where people can access, it's accessible to get that kind of, that kind of medicine? Absolutely, because mm -hmm. not only um, clinically, you know, we need that kind of health, mm -hmm. you know, but we also have to talk about the spirit. Everybody yeah. talks about the psychological behavioral health issues, but if we don't fix the, the spirit, then we're not in balance. Wow, and it one leads to the next. One leads to the next, absolutely. Wow. And can you tell me about the process of, you know, the sweat lodge of Tamasco? The Mexica Tamasca is a little different than the Lakota Plain style of the Sacred Lodge. The stones are heated outside in a fireplace chamber versus inside. Mm -hmm. And so like today when we're having ceremony, we started the fire at six o'clock this morning. The other thing is that we use nothing but cedar wood in there because it burns more clean. And so there is no um, danger of gases or carbon monoxide. Um, the fire um, goes all around the chamber and heats it up really well to about 120 to 140 degrees, like um, hot yoga or a sauna. And we can fit about 15 to 18 people very comfortably inside. And, and our lodge is open to the community. Every month, everybody's welcome. You don't have to be um, part of a tribe or a clan or have a certain bloodline. It's open to the entire community. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love that because a lot of people are intimidated by, you exactly. know, like a, a sweat lodge and you have to be from a specific tradition, but here you, you don't have to be You don't that. have to do that. Wow. Right. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. And how, what kind of reaction have you had from people from the community? You know, uh, what kind of results have you seen from people? We've had a wonderful um, receptive, you know, from the community. We've been here since 2004 wow. and in um, nine years now, I think we've seen almost a thousand people. Wow. Um, not only veterans, um, but we have people from domestic violence issues. Uh, we have immigrants. We have Native Americans from all tribes. And so everybody seems to be pretty receptive to it. That's so great. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and thank you for the work that you do because it's such a unique thing that you don't really see in a lot of different places, but we have that in New Mexico. You know, maybe a lot of viewers at home didn't know we had something like that. Right, right, yeah. right. We're here to serve the community. Everyone's welcome. No one's turned away. Well, thank you so much. And I, I can't wait to see all the things that you guys do. Thank you. And of course, you can get all the information about the community's sacred house of energy by visiting our website, casa.com.